I've had a passion for music all of my life. I can't remember a time when I, I didn't like music. I've always played it. I've always listened to it. I'm blessed to have started at a young age because like, I was probably like a sponge then. And music is like a completely new language and I, I learned it from a young age. And so now I, I write music all the time. I don't really go a week without kind of humming a new tune or writing some lyrics of, of some kind. I've always wanted to compose. I always wanted to be able to sit down and just improvise. And I thought that was like, that's what music's about, is being able to be completely creative and outside of the box. I have, a, I have two sisters, I have a twin sister and an old sister. My old sister's two years older than me, Millie. And we, we started making music for fun, almost, it literally came out of boredom. We grew up in, uh, in a small village outside Hereford. And um, one evening, it must have been raining or something, and we didn't have anything to do. And we thought, oh, it's a right song, why not? We didn't think it would go anywhere at all. We had no expectations, really, that it would go beyond just uh, us listening to it. So we put a track online, and then people started get, listening to it, and we thought, like, oh, we'll do another one. So we wrote a couple more tracks, then, but people uh, responded pretty well to them. And eventually, my dad got in contact with somebody from Birmingham who ran a small record company, and they were really interested. And we ended up having a meeting with them, and suddenly we were assigned to this small indie label. Um, with the band, uh, me and my sister, and the band was called Muchu. It's Japanese, it means, it means dream or trance. We went around the country and did gigs around Brighton, Southampton and London, and things like that. And people were taking interest. We got played on Radio 1, we were Record of the Week, on Radio 1. We were played on the Introducing Show. That's how it all started, really, through BBC Introducing, which is awesome for new music. We were known in kind of like the indie circles, as such, the small indie circles, the very small ones. Not getting anywhere, but learning on the way and changing, and changing the sound as well, because the sound's important. Because now I listen back to the music we first wrote. <laughs> I like it, but there's so much more, like it could be so much better. And when you change, your music changes completely. Um, the solo project was called Sign of Angelo, and that's that was the kind of more the sound that I wanted to create on my own, and the kind of messages that I wanted to put through the music. Sun Angelo was really about more than the sound itself. It was about what I was saying in the music. I have a massive desire to use music to portray a message that isn't what everybody else is talking about. Like I listen to music nowadays and it's literally all about going to the club, I'm going to get wasted. I want my music to have a better message. I want to have a message beyond all that stuff and a message about about life and about the actual like proper the bigger questions in life. It changes things when you get married, and it's changed my my view on my view on life, and so it changes your lyrics, and it just everything changes, and uh, and then it changes your music as well. Basically, I describe it my music now, uh, electronic astronaut. Sounds like a guy in in space with a synth, loads of reverb, quite big. Um, I just love reverb to be honest. That's what that's what I really like. I just love sound. I just th think sound is just like ridiculous. Just that whole idea that there's these sound waves and we can do what we want with them. Almost we're playing with like creation. My name is George Downs and I really love music. <laughs> <laughs>